Hi, this is Mr. Friedman. I'm recording a presentation on Yellowstone for my PLC. This is going to be a lesson on Yellowstone for the social studies classroom. So Yellowstone was the world's first national park. It was preserved under Congress through the efforts of President Ulysses Grant. So it's one of the most famous national parks we have in the world. And it's the cornerstone of the national park system in the United States. And one of the big concepts with the national park system is the concept of a dual mandate, which defines the national park services unique and complex purposes. The dual mandate states that the National Park Service is supposed to protect natural resources while providing opportunities for public use and enjoyment. So there's a, there's two things going on that the conservation efforts of the parks and the fact that you want to make these parks accessible to Americans as a whole and make them part of trips and field trips, vacations. But the more people who come to the park, it becomes increasingly difficult to preserve park resources. So I want to get students thinking about the dual mandate today. And we are going to be using a lesson called Dilemma Cards, which are, this is one example of a Dilemma Card. And I'll go through the objectives of today's lesson. So students will receive, um, background information about the National Park Service and the dual mandate, which they'll read. Then I will place students in a groups. Students will be given a dilemma card. Go back there. This one, for example, talks about Lake Trout in, in Yellowstone Lake. Um, and students will go through this and determine um, will determine what position to take on the issue at hand. So they'll be given a dilemma card relevant to Yellowstone. Read and research the issue. I want to encourage students to start with the National Park website listed at the bottom of this slide. Rather than just starting with Google, recognize that the National Park has great resources and start there before expanding outwards, because you might find it from an official source in an easy to find location. Then students will decide on the course of action. So from the card, they will work with their groups to choose the best course of actions and ideally work towards a consensus. Then they will brainstorm the implementation of a decision and what that would involve. As a class, all the groups will come together and we'll talk about what key factors influence their decisions and the long-term consequences of their suggestions. Lastly, our class will debrief. I will share with them the Yellowstone Park management plans with the class and talk about how the public is invited to be involved in the planning process. That concludes my lesson. Thank you.